Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. Hope you're all having a great start to your day and a great weekend. So it is time for once again, another edition of the weekly wax chat, which is a video that I like to do every weekend here on my channel where I go through all of what I have been using up in home fragrance in my home for the past week. So we discuss the candles I've been burning. We talk about the wax melts that I've been warming this week. Um, we discuss what I've had going in my candle crocks and under my candle lamps. Basically just everything that has been making my house smell good for the past seven days. So that is what we are doing today. Um, per usual, I will put a lot of good stuff down below in the description box. So definitely check out down there and you can find uh, links to all of the things that I'll be chatting about today, as well as some discount codes to save you guys some money. Um, there will also be videos for my Candle Croc, Candle Lamp, and Candle Hurricane 101 which I will be referring to all three of those concepts in today's video. And they are things that I use every week throughout my home fragrance to enhance it. Um, so if you are newer or maybe you just need a refresh, those videos will be really helpful to check out there. Uh, yeah, anyways, let's get right into it, you guys. Let me know if you have any fun plans for the weekend. Um, I really don't have any. My spring break is actually next week, and um, I just am off school for next week. So we're not really doing anything special. It's actually all of our spring breaks are at different times, so it wasn't like we could, like, combine together and do something fun. So I think um, I'm just gonna relax next week and probably binge some TV. <laughs> Honestly, that's probably what I'll do. Hopefully get some filming done and burn a lot of good candles. Anyways, uh, let me know if you have any fun plans. But let's get right into uh, what I am currently using right now. So I have two candles burning. One is right back here, if you can tell. Um, this one right here, I actually had in the kitchen, but I was like, I wanna put um, a little candle back there for the video. So that is the Country Candle Carrot Cake from the Easter Collection from Kringle. Um, I am loving this carrot cake scent. This is a very authentic um, carrot cake scent. It, to me, I, I I compare it the most to this one right here, which I also have. This is Bath & Body Works Sweet Carrot Cake, and I'll kind of discuss this in a minute. But if I compare it to this, this one is honestly a lot more authentic to me. Um, I love both. Like, this Sweet Carrot Cake from Bath & Body Works is really good. But this one right here it just really has a lot of that, like, authenticity from... Uh, like the spice like I get a lot of the spice in there and it's just like something about it is just very authentic and so if you're looking for more of a authentic carrot cake scent I think that this one will be good but it just smells so darn good right now burning I've had it in the kitchen it smells so good it's filling up the area and I just I love it um it does remind me a little bit of a fall release actually from Kringle if you remember apple pumpkin pie from last fall I'm not saying it's a dead on dupe, but I feel like the same spice notes that were used in that one are used in this one, and I really like it. So that's delicious. Review will be coming soon. Stay tuned for that one next week. And then sitting right there in front of me in the family room, I currently have Country Candle Cake Pops burning, which that is another new one for the spring summer 24, 2024 collection from Kringle. Um, I love that one. It is a delicious... Um, like vanilla scent it's different than your typical vanilla it's got a sweet musk note to it so it almost comes across as a slight body care vanilla scent but it's also just got this very rich decadent um like vanilla note in there that is just so so good and i also will say that one does remind me a lot if you love the sol de janeiro um the vanilla caramel one i forget what the number is i want to say it's like 40 something but um i can't remember the numbers on all of those it's the vanilla macadamia one that candle smells just like it so if you want a candle dupe for that sol de janeiro fragrance i think you're gonna like that one a lot um yeah that's what's burning right now uh currently my warmers i'll kind of talk more about this at the end of the video but i do have better homes and gardens vanilla and cookie crunch going right now i love this one it just smells like a it smells like a cracker, honestly, more than a cookie. And some of you may think that sounds really weird. Like, why would you want your house to smell like a graham cracker? 
But um, I love how the vanilla in here is not overly sweet. I think sometimes in vanilla scents, like I love it. I love the sweetness the vanilla scents have, but sometimes it's nice to just have a little bit more of a toned down vanilla. It almost has a slight um, like savoriness to it. Really good though. I'm loving this one and it mixes really well with, them, with what I'm burning right now. So that's what I'm currently warming in my warmers. And um, let's get into all this stuff right here in front of me. By the way, I love this new filming spot because not only is it a very pretty view, um, the lighting is pretty good too. I will say I have windows on this side, so that's why this face is, the side of my face is lit up a little bit more. And then I have my ring light right here for this side, so it's, it's working. But I also just love how I have the table right here in front of me. I'm actually sitting at our dining room table, so I have it all right here in front of me, and it's like, it's super nice and laid out. I got my water. Um, it's just super nice and convenient. Anyways, uh, let's get into what I was burning. So this week, if you saw last week's weekly wax shot, you know that this week I really got back into burning candles because I just during the move kind of was a little bit off track of it. And I really just started this week to burn the new Kringle stuff. And that's honestly what you're going to see this March. Um, this March, I'm going to be really burning a lot of these new Kringle scents because that's honestly what I have a ton of and what I need to review. So stay tuned. They will be coming over the next couple of months. I am slowly putting them up. I get about like four reviews a week up. I usually do two days of candle reviews and I do two per day. So I get about four up. Sometimes I'll do additional or a few less, but um, I did get four of the new reviews up this week, so that was good. And then I was also just focusing on finishing a couple of things as well, and I'll show you guys that uh, first, actually. So let's start with my empties. Uh, Bath & Body Works at Main Street Bakery. I finally finished this one. Um, and I will say it actually did pretty well for the second half of the burn. Um, the first half got a little bit dirty. As you can see, there's just some so right there uh the wicks did get their typical like puny wicks uh but like i would say from about here down it actually did pretty well for the rest of the burn so i was pretty happy with that um i love main street bakery it's delicious by the way i do believe that this is back in stock right now so if you wanted to try it uh definitely go pick it up it is such a delicious scent it's a very authentic banana pudding fragrance so if you love sweet banana scents with like a creamy vanilla filling and then like the vanilla wafers is like the cookie base you've got to check this one out so good i would actually definitely repurchase this one just for the scent even if i had to crock it to get the best performance like I love this scent so much that I would. And it had a good strength and throw, so I'll give it that. Um, so definitely pick this one up. By the way, Bath & Body Works is having a $12.95 sale right now. And I actually uh, brought this bag over because I think I might film the haul for this video after. But I did partake in um, the $12.95. I told myself I wasn't, but then I remembered a couple weeks ago they had to buy one, get one, and I didn't partake in that. So I was like, I'll partake in this. So. Um, I've got some favorites for the summertime. You guys know how to get some tropical face. And then I also picked up a, new, a few new things that I've not tried yet, um, like this. And you guys might be surprised by a couple things that I picked up, because like some of these things I normally would avoid because of certain notes that they have, but um, I'm very excited to share that haul. So that should be up on Monday. Anyways, the point in saying that is, Bath & Body Works is having a $12.95, so if you want to either restock on some things or try out some new things, this one I would definitely recommend shopping the sale for. All right, um, I do have a few more Bath & Body Works empties. Uh, sweet Carrot Cake, like I showed you guys, I did finish this one completely to the bottom. Now, this one, um, this one had troubles for me. It didn't really get sooty, but this one had really bad puny wicks. I feel like with Bath & Body Works, you pick your poison. You're either going to get a clean, nice burn, or you're going to get super puny wicks, or you're going to get super puny wicks and a clean burn. Or if you have a good burn, you're going to have a light strength and throw. It can never be perfect with Bath & Body Works, I feel like. And so I kind of fell for this one. I had super puny wicks, but um, I love the scent, so it's worth it for me. Uh, sweet carrot cake. This is kind of like a tradition for me to buy this candle now every Easter. Honestly, I just, I love it. I remember when this is only out in the single wick. That's when it originally released, and I fell in love with it then, and I still love it now. 
It is a sweet cream cheese frosting, fluffy carrot cake, and cinnamon spice. It's definitely like a basic spice cake type set. And then you do have like that rich frosting at the top, but it is so good. I love this one. Um, the packaging is pretty cute this year. This one is super expensive. It's $32.95, which is crazy for Bath & Body Works to even get up there, but I'm gonna guess that they're gonna blame it on the lid. Honestly, I would rather you just give me a regular lid. Like this one is super cute. I actually kind of like this one better just because of the color than this one. And this is obviously the super expensive one. So I'd rather them just keep the candles at a lower price and then I'll just sacrifice not having a super cute lid. Like none of these lids are super special or anything. So I don't really mind as much. Um, I just prefer the candle not be $32 for a three wick from Bath & Body Works. That's probably just gonna end up dotting out on me. <laughs> That's kind of my problem with them. But then again, I did just get six more. So I can't really be talking. <laughs> um, and then anyways, the last one that I finished is Happy Easter Daffodil Daydreams. Completely finished this one to the bottom. Um, as you guys can tell, there is just a little bit of murkiness in that wax, but um, it did burn pretty cleanly for me. I was super happy about that, but I will say this one did get a very light strength and throw on the burn. I've seen a few more review about this one since I posted mine and everybody's just kind of in agree uh, agreement that this one's just super light. So it's a delicious scent. Um, it's not floral whatsoever. So if you're looking for like a floral, this isn't it. But if it's scaring you away because it says daffodil, don't let it. This is actually mostly a marshmallow scent and it does just have like a slight floral touch, very slight, but it's honestly, if they didn't say daffodil, I probably wouldn't say anything about the floral on this one, but it's like a nice like marshmallow scent. It's kind of basic. It's definitely lighter, but I love it. It's a great scent. Um, they also have it in the body care, I believe. So I wouldn't mind trying this one out in the body care. Um, so yeah. Those were the Bath and Body Works empties. And then I do have one Kringle empty. You guys, look, I finally finished it. This is Country's Pancake Breakfast. Finally finished this to the bottom. Look at how cleanly it burned. You can still sell it, tell that there's definitely some like darkness, but these burn so much cleaner than they did for me when they were in not only the paraffin formula, but just the formula before this one, like last spring and summer when they first introduced these soy candles, they burned cleaner, but they still would get sooty and just messy on me because those wicks were so big, but they have really improved this formula with the new country candles, including the new spring ones. Um, and so I'm just really happy about it. They burn so clean. This was also a powerhouse of a fragrance. Um, despite the picture being like a pancake with blueberries on it, this doesn't have any blueberry in it. And it's honestly mostly caramel to me than pancake. And you may think that that's crazy because I normally don't like caramel, but I actually did like this one. It was, I think it was better burning than it was on cold to me. I do find that with a lot of candles. Sometimes when I burn it, I just enjoy it a little bit more. And that's kind of how I felt about this one. So I would definitely re uh, repurchase this one, but it took me forever to finish it. So these country jars take forever. That's why I honestly prefer the three wicks, especially as a reviewer to just kind of get through things a little bit quicker. Um, I get that this is definitely worth like the money because you're gonna get a ton of burn time. But for me as a reviewer, I do prefer the smaller size because I've got to move on to new things to uh, try out for you guys. So those were the empties for this week. Um, those will be added to the March empties, which we'll be going through in another couple weeks. All right, let's get through uh, what else I've been burning for this past week. Uh, most of this is the new Kringle stuff. I do have one little random candle, so I'll just go ahead and do this one right now. This is from Yankees Friday Collective. This is Shower Playlist. Now, they have discontinued this line. Um, I did pick up a few of these right before they went away from our store because they had to put these on 75% off, so blowout clearance. So I picked up just a couple of them to have because I was like, at $3, why not try these? They're good for bedroom. They're only one wick, so they're not gonna like have a ton of strength and throw. They're not gonna fill up your whole house, but they're good for a bathroom, a bedroom room a smaller area so I picked a couple out um, they also don't burn super cleanly um, it's not that they're like dirty actually that's not really the word to say but they just don't 
pull out very well. This one obviously is tunneling and I had this burning for like five hours and it's just tunneling. And I get that one wicks do that, but it's definitely just not the best candles. So I can see why they got rid of these, but I do like uh, like the idea of them. They're kind of aesthetic and definitely more marketed towards like a younger generation like mine. Um, shower playlist is, this is a nice one. It's a very clean scent. It really does smell like a bar of soap. Like that's really what it smells like. And I feel like a lot of people probably wouldn't like that fragrance, but I actually like it. It's just very fresh, clean, definitely kind of has like an Irish Springs vibe to it, but it's really nice. I've enjoyed this one in my bedroom, and um, if you want like a good, clean bathroom scent, I think that this would be perfect for that. So, been burning that. All right, and then the rest of it is the new Kringle stuff. So I do have a couple more updates for you guys, and also if you haven't already seen the reviews on these, I'll just kind of go through them once again quickly um, just to share my thoughts on these. Uh, let's start with the three wick ones. So I was burning the ice cream sandwiches and then I was also burning the bananas foster. I'm gonna be doing like two at a time and then finishing them and then reviewing, finishing and reviewing. So I wanna finish these two up this weekend. Um, starting with the ice cream sandwiches, I love the scent. This is delicious. It is a milk chocolate scent with a really nice coconut note to it as well. I love when Kringle does the chocolate coconut blend. It's just so good and delicious. Um, it does remind me a little bit of the Easter bunnies from last Easter. So if you guys remember that, it was that same like milk chocolate coconut blend that is in here. This does also have the addition of a macadamia nut, which kind of gives it like a saltiness and almost like a savoriness for this one as well. Um, but I love this scent. This will 100% be a repurchase for me. I also want to get some of the wax melts. So I probably, well, I do not need to place another Kringle order. I feel like I have so many Kringle candles to burn and I've just placed a ton of orders recently. So I don't need more, but I would love some backups of these as well as some of the wax melts because I obviously warm the wax as well. So that would be really good to have aside of uh, burning the candle. But um, yeah, this one's delicious. If you love... Kringle Gourmands, you're gonna have to check this one out really good. Um, as far as the burn goes for all candles, all of the Kringle ones, they burn flawlessly. There's really nothing um, to say about that because they're not gonna burn dirty. They rarely ever get like wick issues or anything like that or sootiness or discoloration. So I really don't even discuss that anymore. As you can see, that white wax is so clean. There is no discoloration or anything. The wicks are really nice and just like self trimming. As you can see, I'm not even gonna need to trim those wicks up again because they're just, they self trim themselves. Um, so that's it for the burn. And then strength and throw. I find this one to have a really good strength and throw. I would put it somewhere between like an eight to an eight and a half. Eight and a half in a hurricane. They do do slightly better if you have them in a hurricane um, to pump out some of that strength and throw. Like I said, if you don't know what a hurricane is, definitely uh, watch that video down below. But um, yeah, I'm in love with this fragrance. Great strength and throw, great burn. Will definitely be a repurchase. Um, the Bananas Foster one, I'm not, I'm a little bit farther down with this one actually because I actually knocked this candle over um, right after I finished the review. It was blown out and it was on this table actually and so I was easy, it was easy to get the wax up really quick. Um, I will say the wax formula from Kringle is super, like it takes forever to get hard again and so it was pretty easy to like soak it up before it got hard. Um, anyways, Bananas Foster, um, I... I love this one so much. I love banana scents personally. I know not everyone does, but I really do. Um, and this is a very authentic bananas foster fragrance. It's definitely got like that sweet, ripe brown banana scent with the caramelized smell as well. Um, I don't mind the caramelized smell in here. Um, I do think that this could probably be seen as cloying to some people because it is just a very sweet fragrance. But you've got to like sweet scents to like this one. So I would probably say stay away if you don't love the sweeter ones, but this is delicious. I love it. It's also got brown sugar, butter. It's got a lot of those like sweeter notes to it. And I really like it. Um, again, great burn on this. Strength and throw, I would put right around the same, like an eight to an eight and a half. This one's a little bit stronger, I would say, but they're both really good for strength and throw. These three wicks do well for me. Um, if you're looking for just a little bit more intensity from your fragrances, I would recommend upping from the two wick to the three wick, just because I do think that with the extra wick, you do just get 
a little bit more strength and throw. And so I would definitely try those out, but I'm honestly having great luck in terms of strength and throw right now with Kringle. I do really feel like they've increased the strength and throw and the intensity on their candles. And I'm seeing that. So those are the two right there. And then the Easter ones have also been burning and I did get reviews up of both of these as well. Um, starting with the lemon sugar marshmallow. This is a delicious like lemony marshmallow buttery type scent really good it's definitely got like a lemon buttercream vibe to it which i feel like we've seen that before from kringle but it's so good and i'll always enjoy it um oh yeah this one's so good i love it i also love the label and just i love like the mercury that they did for these candles um and i think that like i said in the review they could do some really cool like fall ideas or even halloween would be really cool with the mercury i'm not a huge halloween person but i think that the halloween people would love the mercury in that line but i love this scent really delicious um it does kind of smell like a lemon peeps right there um strength and throw on this one also does really well for me i would put it right around like a seven and a half to an eight kind of right on par with uh these as well i really feel like they're all doing better than i normally get for a kringle strength and throw i used to from these two wicks really only get between like a six and a half seven at most but they seem to be doing really well and this is like a seven and a half eight and a half when you have it in a hurricane so loving it delicious scents and great uh performance and then uh, the last one is the Jelly Bean Shubli, which if you saw the review on this one, I did have just a little bit of disappointment with it. Um, now, when I first ordered the candle, I knew that this had licorice in it, so that did scare me just a little bit. But when I smelled it on cold once I received it, I didn't really get a ton of the licorice. And even just smelling it on cold right here, I don't get a lot of the licorice. But when I light this up, the licorice really comes through when it's burning. And it just to me is not enjoyable when it's burning. Um, I don't hate it. It's not like the worst fragrance ever. You still get the sweetness from the fruity. You still get a lot of like the sugariness. It smells like candy. That's really what it smells like to me. It smells like a strawberry Laffy Taffy. It's just like a plethora of a ton of like sweet candy thrown in there. But um, yeah, I do get the licorice a lot more when it's burning. So be cautious of that. I hate licorice. I've said that on my channel before. I've not made that a secret. I don't like licorice scents. I think that they're just, they're not enjoyable. And honestly, they make, I find them to be a little bit nauseating if it's super strong. For example, Kringle Halloween. Do you guys remember that one from this past Halloween? That was like black licorice and I I hated it. I had to burn it outside. It was so bad. Um, so anyways, I do like this, but it probably won't be repurchased just because of that licorice coming through a little bit more, which is a shame because I do like the other notes in here. It's really good, um, but I just, I don't, I hate licorice. So Unfortunately, one note can ruin a fragrance sometimes, and that's kind of like the story with that Jelly Beans Jubilee. So that was all of the candles that I was burning from this week, and then let's do the wax melts. Um, I don't have a ton of wax melts for this week. I've been a little bit lazy with changing my wax, honestly. Um, I do have a Scentsy order on the way. I just got a notification this morning that it um, has shipped now, finally. I feel like Scentsy always takes forever with their shipping. I don't I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's because I always order when it's super busy, like the start of a launch or something, but that should be here soon. So then I'll have those to melt through, but I honestly probably need to go buy at Walmart and pick up a few new things because I don't feel like I have a lot of good gourmand fragrances to melt right now. I've actually been pulling out from like my back stash, which is where I got this. So I probably need to go there and get a few more things. But um, for right now, I did finish up the Sweet Berry Cupcake and Vanilla French Toast. Um, I love this combo. You guys know that if you watch my channel, it's delicious and it smells like a berry French toast. You get the sweet vanilla berry and then the spicy bready French toast scent. These two are so good. It's like sweet and spicy. Put these two together. You won't regret it. And then, uh, like I said, I am right now burning or melting vanilla cookie crunch, which I love this one. I always will. I always have, um, <laughs> I've, this actually was probably my first Better Homes and Gardens since that I tried. I feel like this was my first and I've just, I've loved it since. It's just a really delicious basic vanilla scent, like I said, but it smells like a cracker. Like it's got a savoriness to it that makes it just really, really delicious. And it just smells so good when you walk into the house. So 
yeah, that is everything, you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys have been burning and melting through this week or however you prefer to enjoy your home fragrance. I would love to hear it down below in the comments. Um, again, check out the description box. I'll put a lot of good stuff, links down there, videos, lots of fun stuff. So definitely check that out. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the Bath & Body Works haul on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.